great news buffalo truck is here backed up to the buffalo ramp we're about to see something awesome or a disaster i don't i don't know i'm a little nervous we're in the pin with them we are in the most dangerous place you could possibly be that guy should train tigers look at that the nerve That's majestic. Majestic. Good job, Tim. Did you think it was gonna work? I'd say. <laughs> These guys just rode down from three days in this truck. Oh, I bet they're happy to be out. You guys will never guess what we just did, which I might, I might, I have it on my phone. I don't, I didn't have my GoPro with me. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. It was either gonna go really well or be a total disaster. So my neighbor, the Buffalo people, they said, hey, we're getting a truckload of 30 Buffalo, but we don't have a chute. Can you help us? I'm a cowboy that doesn't know how to ride a horse, all right? What am I gonna know about freaking Buffalo, right? So I call my buddy Newly up, like, Newly, what should we do? He said, um, let's just dump some dirt out there in the pasture and then we'll slope it with the front end with the with the wheel loader and that truck can just back right up to the right up to the mound in the pasture so we did and uh we unloaded 30 pregnant buffalo today and went really well but I, I did all with my phone um i just did my i was like man what if one like falls and like there's blood everywhere and ah, and screaming and and what if i get killed by a buffalo and so i just thought maybe it's better that i don't have my gopro anyways just unhooked the old gooseneck. I got her into the bank. I'm not gonna take you guys. That's pretty boring. But with Nicole having the two little boys all the like at home, it's really hard for her to get to the bank. So I've been trying to do things to help her around um, with the normal things that she does. So I've been trying to deposit checks. Not very good at it. But I've been getting better, all right. Got like three paychecks. Four. Whatever. My poor kids can't eat because daddy can't deposit a check. On to the next. Oh, let's go. I'll show you the project of the shop real quick because I got to go pick Ron up. We've got to return the skid steer for my cousin across the street. So you can see that project we're working on. Let's go. Okay, quick question. Have any of you ever, I know none of you have ever, ever done this because I've personally never never done this forget to unhook the um your power to your trailer and you drive away and you hear pop and you walk back there and then you just cross your fingers that it um <laughs> it didn't break anything but it always breaks they know because it goes in sideways they need to put put the plug straight in so when you do drive away it pulls straight out no they mount it to the side of the bed so when you drive away it pulls out sideways and crack and then you gotta redo the plug yeah, I've never done it either. Just checking with you guys. Hey, cows. It's warm. It feels a lot warmer than 62. It feels like 72. Possibly 92. Ron has already left, so I'll make it a quick presentation. That obviously is dirt. We're gonna pour that with uh, cement and then we're gonna put a garage door right there 
and they're gonna wall off those sides. So for the trucking company, we will have our, our own shop to lock our own tools and parts up. Because when you share a lot of space, things go missing. So we're working on that. I'm not gonna go crazy. So what I'm gonna do, cause I'm a little, I'm a little, we are very congested here. We're just like piled up on top of each other when it comes to barns, buildings, and space. And we've only done these, uh, oh, Ron's calling. Hey, Ron. Hey. I'm on my way over there. All right, I parked it back here where, I, where we picked it up at. Sweet, I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm walking back around, so. Okay, okay, are you gonna go, are you going towards the front or are you going to the way you drove in? The way I drove in. Sweet, I'll go that way too. the concrete then. plant. Sweet, that's the way I'll go then. Yeah, because you'll drive real slow and make me walk almost all the way over there. I no, I'll drive really fast, like a pre-runner no. fast, like a side-by-side -side fast. Okay. Okay, see you in a second. Bye. See ya. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried. Like, what if we've only owned semis for six months? What if we absolutely hate this? So I don't want to spend a bunch of money no building. Dang, I don't want to spend a bunch of money building a big shop where I could park full trucks hooked up to trailers, do all of that just to realize I don't like owning trucks, right? So my neighbor has a nice big shop and he used to have several trucks and he's getting more towards his retirement stage. And he told me a while back, I could always rent space from him. So I'm kind of leaning towards renting uh, like a bay or two, buying a, a shipping container, filling it full of our tools, renting, renting two bays from our, my neighbor and then staying over there. And then after two or three years, when we've got things somewhat figured out, we at least know if we wanna keep doing it. Then we build the shop we want. But why spend a whole bunch of money and time and build a shop that we end up not liking the business? Um, I've already had a, a, a local guy offer me, he said, look, if you don't like owning trucks in a year or two, I will buy out all of your equipment from you if I get to haul your hay. I said, man, that's a, that's a fair offer. Um, Cause I might hate this, right? So I'm just, I don't want to rush. Yeah, you can say you rushed into it. You bought these trucks. I can get rid of these trucks easy, right? If I build a big new shop, it's a lot harder to get rid of a big new shop. So that's the plan, Stan. What was your favorite part about today, Ron? It's only two, three o'clock, so. Uh, the favorite part? Go get a load of hay. We do that almost every day though. Yeah, but that's fun. I love hauling hay. Okay, see all that cement? That's all the stuff that gets sent back. So all we have to do is have stuff formed up and they'll bring it to us discounted. Sweet, let's get her done. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm in the grader. It took me like 45 minutes to get in here because I couldn't find my 40 gloves. It's terrible with gloves. I'm going in her, oh, here we go. Going in reverse, but can't see very well. All right. Um, eat. let's get into high. I need a new grader, but I need a lot of things that are a little more important before a new grader. So, true story I was in a bank heist with this, and uh, the cops shot the windows. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not a true story. Don't take this video off, YouTube. Come on, baby, turn faster. Turn faster. Are we gonna make it? Yes, I have no brakes, so we just gotta... We get that sign. Yep, ooh. Okay, we need reverse. No one behind us. Alrighty. Go. We should name this grader. What do you guys think about Darla? There's a diesel tank. Leftover rain puddles.
that's uh, good enough for now. Guy got to the front gate. There's a guy here from Mexico that's an alfalfa farmer. I wanted to chat. He was just right here. Where we went? Gotta find him. Ooh, see? Where did that fence post right here? Totally pulled that up with the grater. She's a beast. Not really. She's weak. That's fine. I don't Gets the job done. That's what she said. Just had a funny, fun conversation with some a farmer out of Mexico. Like, I don't think I've ever talked to a farmer out of Mexico and just talking about the same issues that we have. It doesn't like dealing with the exporters, doesn't like dealing with the local dairies. Uh, what can he do? What can he do? And I just told him how we've, we've grown so big, we cannot always make enough hay for our customer base. And he asked if he could send, send a load of hay for me to look at. Not till next year, he doesn't have any hay, but I said, sure, why not? So it's kind of, kind of fun, I guess, but um, interesting. We used to make, only make, only sell hay we made. Unfortunately, like I said, we've, 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 we've been so blessed and we've grown so much that we do have to buy hay. I don't want to make ever, anyone think we only sell hay that we make. We do not, I, I have to buy hay. But I tell everyone I've got pretty strict rules not hard on people, but they're just things we have to have. We want a consistent bale, whether that's a bale that we made or a bale someone else made, it needs to be consistent across the board. So that's what has had a conversation about that, if, if he could meet those standards. Um, but I'm not going to, a lot of things he comes up against moisture and, and protein counts. So I, look, I, I know there's windy days and uh, I know you can't get moisture like you'd like to. I'm, that, I'm not gonna turn hay away. Um, I don't even check for protein. Like I don't, it doesn't matter for horses. It's not important. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Just kind of interesting. I'm going to jump back on the grader. Got this hump, right? So they repaved our road, uh, in front of the store and they left this hump, this pile of dirt. I should have taken care of this back right when it happened before that dirt had millions of tons of hay drive across it. Just trucks and pickups and trucks and pickups and tractors. So now I gotta go over there while it's probably nice and hard and try to push it around. So let's see how this goes. So now I'll come back over here with the front end loader and push this in. You can see that the dirt is sloughed off this fence line. So it'll be actually good. We'll take that dirt I pushed over and we'll fill this in, it'll work out. And then I was just looking with Ron at an old um, silage pack uh, blade. I think we can make it, we can do some fabricating on it and hook my loader up to it, which would be kind of cool especially for stuff like this, instead of using a, instead of using a, a bucket to push that, I could use a, a dozer type blade to push it. And we could, who knows what we could end up using it for, but I don't know, we got so much stuff to do. We've got to build, I've got some spikes for big bales. We have to build an attachment to, for the loader. So I don't know, it's just, there are so many projects. It's just, it's never gonna get done. I wish I could even video it all. I can't even seem to video it all, but all right, back in the grader, here we go. Ugh, that, that glare is terrible. So there's a high spot straight ahead, but my battery's getting low, so just know I'm gonna do my best. Thanks for watching the show. You guys are great, hope you enjoyed it. I don't know what's next. We'll just find out next. See you guys.